hello today's video i would cover downloading git configuring the git in your local system initializing git in your system add files to git changes the files and then committing back to git and uh, see the log what the changes actually i have made so let's get started for that matter first of all you need to download the git official website which has the different different uh, versions available for git for different platforms you can if you are a windows user you can directly click here the current version is 2.26.2 and if you wanted to download it for mac os or linux you can go to this downloads page uh, in my system i have already downloaded git and i can check it once after download git dash dash version so i have version 2.25.1 is available so i'm good to go second step which i have noted down here is configure git in your local system so this exercise i have already done with my name and my email id so after that you are free to use git the another step is point number three initialize git in your system that is the new thing i would start doing the hands-on exercise here on my d drive so here if i wanted to go and create a git new project so git in it the project name you want to mention test project for example right after applying this command you see initialized empty git repository in d drive and the my desired place with dot git folder and if you go and see dir you will not get such a folder in fact inside if you have to visit to the test project and uh, you see no such dot git folder is available because this is a hidden folder by default currently this folder is completely empty so i will create a temporary file here for example go to new and i would say test document this is test doc dot txt right and if i say something this is a git demo file that's it i would contain this much of text as of now for trial and close this now go back to your git command prompt and see git there is a command git status this command will give you some information like the on which current branch you are working upon you can check it is an untracked file and the current file name is appearing as in red color because we have made the changes in this file so here the next step is git add and if you put dot after the add it means you are going to add all the files to the versioning control system if i did not receive any error message it means it was successfully added to git now the another step is uh, you may get it like this you may check the status once again see the difference in the previous git statement you are getting the file name in the red color here in the after adding the file to git it, the file color has been changed and if you see changes to uh, committed to be committed so next step is git commit dash m dash m stands for message you have to pass any certain any text message for so that you can understand what kind of changes have you made in your file so i am saying created a new file that's it clicking on it as soon as i click we need to understand this thing so first thing is the master it means we are currently working on the master branch this is the identification given by git only one file has been changed and one insertion has been done the file name is testdoc.txt if you go and see 
uh, the get status once again so the difference between this get status and previous get status is currently we are on the master branch as because we have not changed any master branch but nothing to commit work tree clean it means everything which you have modified or uh, uh, there were some differences have been successfully submitted to git so it is high time to get the difference of your changes so for that matter i have to go back to the file and i am adding another line for second commit the new text i have added here in the file and i am saving it again closing the file going back to terminal i have to repeat that step git add again either dot e or the file name if i did not receive any error message it means successfully done and again we have to give the git uh, commit dash m i would give the message like second commit right done now compare compare this second commit uh, with the first commit you received one another uh, number of a unique identification number for this commit earlier we received something else this time we received something else okay all right so how can we go and check what was the status overall so that would be done through git log command git log git log command will give you the complete history of your which branch you are working upon what is the commit id this is the big commit id and uh, who was the author of this commit and what date what time this commit has been made and we would make another commit again third commit okay so that is a text only and uh, save and close we'll repeat the same exercise again uh, get status see the difference again in the red color uh, get add dot submitted to get but have not committed uh, get commit dash m and would say third commit this is the running text you can pass anything successfully added this time another id is generated and given to us uh, and if it's i would say git log say this all three commits are here the initial commit second commit and the third commit for every commit there would be different id generated by the git and it would track all uh, the changes in it in this in on system if you want more detail on it you can go and git show git show will give the complete list of differences along with the kind of commits you have made as per the agenda we have covered almost every topic given here in the list till see the log changes for the next video i am planning to cover git branches in detail create branches commit to specific branches and find the differences of the files and to the another video i am planning to cover git remote repository preferably github or azure devops git complete git workflow pull and push offer from remote repository and merge the commits to any branch so these subsequent videos will be coming soon that's it for today thank you very much for watching and keep signing in